Happy Saturday, everyone. Meteorologist April Loveland here. While we have a lot going on in the tropics, we have newly uh, formed Tropical Storm Maria strengthened. It was uh, Tropical Depression 15. Winds at 50 miles per hour, gusting up to 65. It's moving toward the west at 20 miles per hour. Now, this is one that is worth paying attention to because look at this. It's going to pretty much head toward the same kind of area that Irma did, which is going to hit, uh, I know, Barbuda, which has nobody on the island right now. Uh, they do have a hurricane warning out for them right now, and it could uh, hit the islands as a major hurricane. So we are going to be keeping a close eye on this. Uh, looks like it's going to be strengthening to a category one by Sunday at 2 p.m. So we will see that uh, those winds around 75 miles per hour. Oops, I just made that move. Whoa, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot it's touch screen. So we are going to be keeping a close eye on this. Now this does only go out to Thursday but it could be our next major hurricane. Now we also have Tropical Storm Lee, which strengthened this morning, winds at 40 miles per hour, gusting up to 50, moving toward the west at 10 miles per hour. As you can see, looks like it's just going to stay a tropical storm. Uh, we're looking at winds at 45 miles per hour on Sunday, and then looks like it's going to kind of weaken. It's going to start to approach some winds that are unfavorable for its formation. So good news for that, but still something to keep an eye on. It's still uh, pretty far out there though. Now, back home, we're worried. I know we've been talking about uh, Hurricane Jose. We can already see lots of people out at the beach. Get that rough surf out there. I know the red flags are flying. That is all thanks to Jose. And we're gonna be keeping an eye on that rough surf over the next couple of days. We're looking at winds at 80 miles per hour right now with Jose gusting up to 100, moving toward the north at six miles per hour. So it is moving fairly slowly right now, still a category one, and it is expected to stay a category one through Monday. Now, we are still looking at it, the core of the hurricane to pass well east of the coast of northeastern North Carolina, or the coast of North Carolina. Now, if this track shifts a little to the west, we might see a little bit of tropical storm winds for the Outer Banks. Whoa, <laughs> there's a lot going on here. Okay, sorry, touch screen. So as we look at our spaghetti plots, we can see it is keeping it well offshore, but like I said, any little shift to the west, it could bring a little bit of tropical storm force winds to the Outer Banks. We're still gonna be dealing with gusty winds though, no matter what. Uh, we're gonna be dealing with the rough surf, the high risk of rip currents, the tidal flooding, but if it does shift a little bit to the west, those things will just get a little worse. If it goes a little bit to the east, not going to be too bad. And I know there are tropical storm watches uh, for the waters that are farther out away from the coast. Now, as we look at our wind forecast here, this is chance of 39 plus mile per hour winds. So that's tropical storm force winds. As you can see, about a 20 to 30% chance for North Carolina, especially the Outer Banks there. We're looking at about a 10 to 20% chance here for Hampton Roads, uh, the Eastern Shore, and the Peninsula. So we are going to be keeping a close eye on that, but that really hasn't changed since yesterday, so that's good news. Also, we're gonna wanna keep an eye on possible tidal flooding. Doesn't look like we'll really have an issue today or tomorrow, but definitely going into the evening hours on Monday. This is 9 p.m. We could see a little bit of minor tidal flooding there. So we wanna keep that in mind. We're gonna have those persistent northeasterly winds. Those winds going to be picking up. We could see gusts up to 30 miles per hour. So that could definitely cause some tidal flooding. Now, what can we expect with Jose? The storm is expected to stay offshore. It's still a little too co close to com comfort. So of course we are keeping a close, close eye on it. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're gonna be dealing with gusty winds, rough surf, and tidal flooding. We're already dealing with the rough surf right now. We're already dealing with the winds going to be picking up a little bit as we head into the day on Sunday. Good news though, the most dangerous side of the storm is expected to stay over water. So that is always good news for us. Just looking a little breezy as we go into the day on Monday and Tuesday. And just keep in mind, we could see that tidal flooding, the rough surf, so probably not going to be the best time to be out and about. Now, rain, looks like a lot of the rain going to stay offshore. It's actually going to be pretty much just raining over the Atlantic. Um, we are going to be keeping a close eye on that, but if we do get that little bit of a westward shift, that will bring us a little more rain. Right now I'm looking at about a 30% chance 
uh, for some showers. Really not looking at any storms though. So that'll be Monday and Tuesday. Looks like we should be looking at better conditions by Wednesday. So that is what we are tracking right now. I know a lot of people had some questions about what exactly makes a depression, a tropical storm, a hurricane. Mm -hmm. Tropical depression, you have 39 mile per hour winds or less. Once the system has 39 mile per hour winds to 73 mile per hour winds, that makes it a tropical storm. 74 plus makes it a hurricane. And then of course we have category one, two, three, four, and five. There is no category six. So that is what makes a tropical depression, a tropical storm, and a hurricane. So it all has to do with how fast the winds are. Now I know the hurricane hunters went out, they checked out Jose, um, didn't really strengthen at all, so that's good. Not really ex expected to strengthen too much, so it looks like it's going to stay a category one, but I think they'll probably be out there again checking it out. So we're going to keep you guys updated here on air, online. We do not have a six o'clock show tonight because of football, but we do have a 10 o'clock on WGNT, and we also have an 11 o'clock on WTKR. So I hope everyone has a great Saturday. Hopefully you're able to get out and enjoy the air show as well. Have a good day.